people actually ask me what happens when, when I get adjusted. How does that work? Well, here's how it works. And this is research by Heidi Havoc. So I'm just quoting and explaining um, that there's two parts. There's the spine and the brain. When we adjust the spine, so we're looking for segments that are abnormal or improper. The spine can either be not moving, rigid, weak, and vulnerable, or moving properly, strong, and resilient, and flexible. This bucket, this bucket. We want less in this bucket and more in this bucket. When the spine does not move properly, literally the deep, deep, deep muscles go offline. Those are the postural muscles. Those are the ones that actually go right to the brain. So when we adjust the spine, we are finding a resist restricted segment. They are called subluxated. They're just a movement pattern, segmental dysfunction. When we adjust them, the muscle spindles are triggered into action. Literally, there is a brain boost. So that brain boost to the brain says, now I can do three things. Now I can sense where my body is in space. How much force do I need to accurately and appropriately move my arm? Why does that matter? Well, it matters a lot. If you're a sitting person at your desk and you go to stand up, accurately, accurate and, and appropriate force generation. If I'm um, bending down to um, walk my dog and pick up, uh, pick up the dog, uh, pick up the, after the dog, well, I have to bend. Some of my muscles have to be active, some have to be resi um, protected. So it's accuracy and appropriateness of where my body is in space and force generation, first thing. Second thing it does is take in, it literally it interprets my entire world. So my nervous system behaves, it's like the lens through which I'm looking, it appreciates and um, interprets all that's happening around me in my life, taking in my sphere and then telling my body how do I adapt appropriately. If something's coming at me, do I have to duck? If something's coming at me, do I have to grab my coffee from my takeout, right? And, and also, am I in that stress mode or relaxation? Am I safe or am I not? perceives and receives that information, but also receives inf and perceives information from the body. So it's constantly in that state of um, homeostasis, taking information from my body, from my gut, from my immune system, from my inf all the different parts of my body. Do Does my brain need to make more of this, less of this, in the right time, the right place? So three things that adjustment does. When the brain works properly, movement, control, accuracy and appropriateness, interpret my world and interpret what's going on in my body. And at the beginning of care, more, the more, the first phase of care is really when we're creating that um, neural foundation, we're working on the neural pathways of the body. And the more is better at the beginning and, and trained, um, ingrained longer term.